Hey, what's going on, everyone? Naka here. Hope you all have a wonderful day today so far. I know I am. Today, I'm bringing you guys yet another Call of Duty Vanguard beta trickshotting video. You guys have seemed to really enjoy the last few I put out, and I actually got a decent amount of footage left over from the beta, so I can actually bring you guys a few more videos before the full game launches. And if you guys did end up watching the last few uploads I posted on Vanguard, you would see that I didn't really have good luck on the game, and I wasn't able to hit any shots. But that changes today, boys. Basically, the last night that the beta was available, a bunch of people found out how to glitch their way into a private match, and like, literally just play a private match, which you normally couldn't do in the beta. And not only that, but the lobbies actually had fully customizable rules. Like as you guys can see from the footage in the background right now, I was going through and changing the health down to like one point. You can turn revives on and everything. It's actually pretty customizable, especially for a beta. But yeah, as you guys can tell, I actually ended up getting into one of these private match lobbies and I ended up recording like, I don't know if you'd call it a face off, but a little private match trick shot in video with my boy Mikey. I wouldn't really say it was a face off, but we did sit in private match for a few hours and tried to hit some banger shots for you guys. And I don't want to spoil anything, but let's just say that my Vanguard dry streak was finally broken. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let you guys see what I'm talking about in the video, which we're about to get into now. But before we do, if you do enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like rating on it and drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite shot or part of the video. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into the Call of Duty Vanguard beta trick shotting action. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. All right, boys, so we're here on game one. We got the guy up top right there, and we're going to be going for a little backdrop because we don't want to jump off and keep having to put the guy back there because of fall damage. So, yeah, we're going to cook up this little backdrop. I'm here with my guy, Mikey. Don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah, here we go. Also, um, we're going for a little knife insta swap, or at least I am, because we can actually use the throw knives in the beta or in private match. You normally can't do it in the actual beta, but you can with the private match creator class. So yeah, it's allowing me to cook up this actual steez. This combo I'm going for is actually hella nice too. And I'm kind of shooting on. Like oh, I'm gonna get a little height off this rock. Ooh, actually, you don't you don't fall this far. Oh, I have three throw knives. What the hell? I, I think they just keep stacking up. Oh, no way. Oh, I saw his red name on that one, bro. All right. Zoom load. Empty pistol. Whoa, it insta swapped really quick there. Like, quicker than it should have. That was actually dope. Bro, one of us got to hit this. This is not a very distant shot at all. Oh, <laughs> as I said that, dude, my bullet literally skimmed him. Like, literally gave him a haircut. Oh, Naka, look at this. You could go on. Oh, shit. Oh, dude, again. Oh, my God. But what were you trying to show me? Go, go the right, there. right here. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, that's Drop. a cool little spot. Ooh. Honestly, I don't think you shot. Oh, I might have canceled too soon. I need that ammo pack again. Oh, I'm not shooting, bro. And every one of my tries, I'm not shooting. Ooh. I just realized, bro. Yo, silent shot is something after. A P swap after, dude. I just realized I've had four ammo in my gun for so long. Wait, I think you glitched it. What do you mean? I can't, I can't get ammo. Unless I'm max on ammo. What ammo do you have? Uh, sniper, er, sniper ammo is what I'm trying to get. I mean, do you have max though? Oh, oh no, uh, it's just a spot I threw it down in. It's literally in the ground. Wait, I got another oh. one. I got another one. There you go. All right, there we go. Hey. All right, I'm going to go for the little zoom load. Or if you are going to reload your shot, make sure it's like a full clip reload, you know? Like you have full ammo. Yeah. EO2 shit. Oh, I hit oh. it. Hey, Did let's it? go. Yep, hit the little backdrop already. Let's go. That did not take long at all. You can't even tell I, what I did in the kill cam. I did a zoom load, then like oh. empty pistol, insta swap, silent shot, knife throw. It only shows half That's it in sick. the kill cam though, bro. All right, boys, we're back on game two. We got the guy setting up right on the edge here. Not very far, I know, but hey, it's something. And as you guys can see, Mikey's going for the suey right now. But now if I go over to right about here, I can actually revive him. And that's actually a game rule you can put on is reviving your teammates. But I guess if they jump off and go for a suey, their body, like their body goes down there. But the option to revive him is like right where they jumped off. So we can just go for unlimited sueys over and over basically. Uh, hold on, I gotta get my shot down. But yeah, like this, I'm gonna go for the shot real quick. And then you guys are gonna see when I respawn or when I die. Yeah, I'm spectating Mikey and now he is reviving me and... Here we go. We can go for more shots. But yeah, we're going to have to take turns going for this. That's why we put them so close instead of like all the way down there. All right, let's see it, Mikey. You know what? We should put them all the way across over to the other suey. Or the other suey spot. That'd be cool. Okay, yeah. that's why I was going to put them. The reason I didn't is because I figured if we were like taking turns. But yeah, I'm down for that. All right, I got you with a... Uh... Oh, you can reload while you're reviving people. Fun little fact. All right. Oh, I actually oh. think I just shot off. Did I? Or did I shoot on? Really? Okay, I yeah, need to see the guy. Alright. See it? Oh! oh. You hit him with a throne <laughs> knife in your shot. I literally saw I that. I didn't mean to. <laughs> That's actually hilarious, dude. Wait, what? Look. 
Oh, oh what the heck? I was wait, on the wait why did the kill too? cam actually look good? <laughs> it didn't even look I like think... he failed or anything. I know. Crap, I should have jumped off and did that. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, for real. Damn, that was actually pretty dope. All right, but let's try to hit that again and move him a little bit further down. All right, the two boxes in the spot. Oh, wait, Mikey's dead. I, uh, I did yeah. something funny. Yep, I, I can tell. All right. Let's try to hit this shit. Dude, if I hit all the way down there, man, I'd freak out. Wait, I'm gonna go for a little throwing knife shot now, too. Oh, you can't actually throw a knife while you're stemming. Good to know. I literally just jumped to my death. Yo, they don't call me Matt Brady Necker for nothing. Watch this. Watch. You ready? All right. Okay, well, they actually Ooh, don't call me that. Over. They don't call me that at all. I, I might have lied. All right, watch the tomahawk. You ready? I'm about to hit this. All right. I'm tracing the trajectory. Here we go. Of the projectile. Oh, I didn't throw it. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't really see it. I don't know, kinda hard to trace. You know what? I think at this point I'm gonna have more luck going for a normal shot. <laughs> Actually, I don't know with the no scopes in this game. We'll see. Yeah, we're gonna hit this soon. I feel it. I'm feeling it too. And if we can't, well, we're moving them closer again. <laughs> <laughs> but... Ooh, okay, that one actually should have hit, bro. What the? I need to look a little bit bit more to the right before I jump off to get my timing good. I always readjust like before I go for my shot. Like I was looking straight on out here and shooting off into nowhere. So now I'm gonna look more to the right. Oh yeah, now I'm shooting on, okay. 20 minutes later. Taking slightly longer than expected. It is. Should we move him to the closest pole, you think? I think we should. All right, I'm back. I didn't put him on the closest pole. I put him on like, a little bit of distance, but uh, not as much as before, to say the least. Oh, yeah. almost hit first try, actually. I think this is actually the move. I feel like we're way more likely to hit when he's right there, even though it doesn't even seem that much closer. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna hit there. Yo, I hit last map. You gotta hit this one. I know. Right here. Right. Holding you to it. Okay. Well, yeah, not holding you to anything. It was the show, just can't trust the soul out here, bro. People tell you they're gonna do something, they just don't do it. What I do like about this game, though, is when we do end up hitting the Sui, it's not gonna do the dumb death animation and show us falling. We're just gonna actually fall like a MW2 or like a BO2 Sui. You might have to do that middle pull real fast, I can't lie. Yeah, no, we definitely might have to do that, especially if we want to do a third shot, too. I don't know, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I was internally exploded after that one. All right, boys, as you guys can see, we had to move him back to the original spot because we've been here for like 40 minutes and uh, the other spots just aren't working out, but hopefully this one will. Can't believe you hit that throw knife so quick last time. Oh, now I'm shooting to the other pole, man. Oh, dude, dude that was right above him. Just shoot a little bit lower, dude, and you literally would have a montage out. <laughs> Dude, that's preposterous. I don't even know if that's the right word, but if it was, then it was. Dude, we're hitting this one in no time now. I think every shot's gone close so far. I need, I need to be the one to hit, bro. Oh, For real. Yeah, this is it, dude. hundred fucking ninety-four percent. Twenty minutes later. Yeah, if you guys can't see, uh, we actually had to move him up a pole from there to there because uh, we've literally been playing for like an hour now. I have no idea how these no-scopes haven't connected. This game just says trash no-scopes, and dude, every time I move him, I still shoot to the pole he was at before. I need to readjust my time and... Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have a stim on anymore. That's awkward. Oh, canceling the proximity mine or whatever, the bouncing Betty in a shot kind of goes crazy though. Alright, let's try. No more goofing around. Oh. <gasps> It landed a little low. Yo, try to shoot. Actually, I don't even think shooting higher will work with the no scopes in this game with how broken they are, bro. <gasps> nah, nah, nah. I've never got robbed that hard on a Call of Duty trick shot, bro. Never. No never in my no life. Dude, like, come on. You tell me a lucky tomahawk can hit, but I can't hit a simple fucking 12 meter shot. No, literally, bro. You'd be getting a fucking... If this was Pluto, they'd be like, Ah, yeah, you can't hit a shot that close. <laughs> That's how barrel this is. Bro, this is literally a pity shot at this point. Dude, I saw the red dot. I saw his red name. I literally fucking saw red blood coming out of him for that bullet connecting. 
I see the red kill cam bars and everything, bro. That hit. I also wonder why the icon to revive people is the spy plane icon. Maybe they haven't uh, patched that one into the game yet. Or like put that into the game. No but way. yeah. I'm literally reviving a spy plane right now. I mean, they haven't made any game modes where you can revive anyone. Dude, red name, third time in a row. Hey, this, this, we're not even supposed to be in here right now. Yeah, That's I know. I yeah, no, definitely. Why? <laughs> we were not supposed to be able to edit any of these game rules at all. And our OGK is about to come out for the shot in a minute. About to fucking scope it. No, I'm playing. Not actually, dude. I actually think I saw his name again. Literally four tries in a row. If I didn't see the name, I at least saw the dot. Congratulations, Vanguard. You've killed the, uh... You've really killed the bullet trails here. <laughs> For real, dude. They said, oh, how can we make trickshotters not want to invest in our game? Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it, man. Just don't... Don't have good bullet trails, yeah? Yeah, so when you shoot, you, the, the bullets actually aren't going to go in the crosshairs. The fun thing they're going to do is actually go to the top right of your screen. Oh, finally, bro. Let's go. Oh Yo, gosh. I wall breached under the map, too. I'm literally in the middle of a rock. I didn't like... It, yeah, that was dope. Oh, it didn't even show the bouncing Betty cancel, and I couldn't care less, dude. I really couldn't. <laughs> that was cool. I'm, I'm happy with that, man. I am happy with it. All right, guys, we're back on game three, and as you guys can see, we're playing on the map Right Star, which, if you guys don't know, this is, like, the best trickshotting map in this game. You can literally, like, jump out of this window. You can backdrop any of these buses, like, across the map or anything. You can even jump out of that window and actually i've already been playing on this map for a half hour going for a little shot from back here on that roof because i thought if i jumped out of one of those windows i would just suey you know what i mean because if you guys don't know unfortunately this game doesn't have like a perk for no fall damage so if you're going for a shot from high up you're gonna die no matter what like if i decide to hop up in this window and go for a shot over to that oh i just landed on that snow patch which is just what i was about to say i was about to say unless you land on the snow patch or the tank or like some type of elevated snow patch like that, you're actually gonna die if you straight up hit the ground if you jump out of like one of those big windows. And now that I don't have Mikey in the game, I had nobody to revive me if I went for a Sui or anything, so I was just going from that small roof until I found this out. I found out I can actually jump off this corner while he's like right over. Oh, I think he's back in spawn, right? Where did I put him again? Oh yeah, he's right there. But yeah, basically if you jump off this corner right here, I'm gonna go for a little shot real quick. For some reason, you just do not die. Oh, that was a scuffed shot, but you guys get the point of it. So yeah, now that I figured this out, I'm gonna be going for this. Why would I go for that little pity spot over there when I got the biggest roof on the map? And I decided to spice up my shot too. I realized on the other map, I was literally just going for like a zoom load, then an empty pistol reload, and then just like, you know what I mean? Little equipment cancel or whatever. But nah, I decided to spice it up on this map and actually do something special. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start from way back here, then I'm gonna start running up to the ledge. In the middle of running, I'm gonna start doing a bayonet charge like that. Then I'm gonna fake silent shot, pistol shoot, um, then like field mic, or not field mic, field upgrade cancel, and then yeah, I'm gonna hit the boopy on him. All right, let's see if I can hit this first try, boys. Imagine, nah, I'd cry. Oh, with the stem after, that was actually close, dude, and that would have been my first try from the spot, too. Or like, first once I'm recording. Oh yeah, this is definitely the shot I'm gonna be hitting. Fake silent, oh, come on. Dude, I failed the fake silent and almost hit it. I saw his red name and everything. The fake silent shot is pretty important part of my shot, though, because like, without the fake silent shot, it's gonna look like every other shot I've hit, kinda. Besides the bay in that part, and also that should have hit, just a side note. But yeah, I don't think I've seen any fake silent shots on this game yet. I've seen like one can swap, but besides that, a lot of people are just kind of hitting the same shots, including me on those last two maps, obviously. But, um, alright, fake silent, pistol shoot. Oh, I need to shoot a little more to the right. There is one bad thing about this shot, though, and that's when I go into my loadouts and go to edit. One, you guys are going to see I'm using a three-line rifle. I decided to do that to switch it up from the car. That's not the bad part. The bad part is when I go to my underbarrel, you guys can see I have the bayonet on, and I have to do that to, like, do the little bayonet lunge in my shot. But that actually takes away the smile or the SMLE pistol grip, which actually helps with hip fire accuracy. Or the Carver foregrip. They both help with hip fire accuracy. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to use that, so my no-scopes are probably going, like, all over the place now in this game. Oh my god, that one actually almost hit, though. Oh my god, I just realized my character literally screams when I do the bayonet charge thing. Oh, I just need to hit the shots. So I don't have to hear him go, Ah! One more time. Oh, come on. Can I shoot on? I just realized my guy literally sounds constipated when I'm going for that shot, yo. I am praying for him. He's probably in the bathroom fighting for his life right now. That just reminds me of the meme on Twitter. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but they're like, why do they call a restroom a restroom? I ain't resting there, bitch. I'm fighting for my life. And yo, that is a fact sometimes. I'm just saying. And wonder what else is a fact? That that bullet actually connected with his cranium. 
Doing the little thumbs up before the shot too. Oh my god, that should have hit. If only I had the stim to actually cancel my shot. Alright. Thumbs up, going to my classman. You pick that. Bayonet charge. Fake silent. Oh, come on. Wait, I know I'm doing a lot of this on ground boys, but I thought of something to spice it up even more. What if I do a little zoom load thumbs up? Oh yeah. Then bayonet charge. Fake silent. Oh, can I shoot on when I go for that? Please, please, please. Just one attempt. Wait, I kind of like that little knife animation it does when you're going up the ladder. Like, it repeatedly knifes. I literally only hit it one time there, but it just kept knifing and did, like, different animations each time. That was actually pretty dope. One oh was not pretty dope. His that shot hit the ground when I clearly was aiming at him. One hour later. All right, boys. After this next attempt, I'm going to see how long I've been going for this. Because I know I've been going for this for, like, an hour at this point. Not going to lie. Probably even longer. Here, let me check real quick. Yeah, boys, I've been recording for an hour and seven minutes at this point. So if I don't hit within probably like the next five attempts, even though this isn't very distance to begin with, I think I'm actually going to end up moving him like back here and just in an easy shot. I would love to hit that, but man, they're just not connecting. Like I said, I've been going for this for like over an hour now. You know what? Want to know what I'm going to do? Next time I run out of ammo after I refill right here. So I have 14 shots left to hit this before I move him back over there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want to move him closer, but if you guys don't know, this beta literally ends in the morning. The beta ends in like eight hours now, so I'm not going to have another chance to even go for this. This is like my one chance tonight, and I definitely want to be able to hit at least three shots for you guys. So you know what, boys? It might just have to happen, but shit, if it does happen, it's still a shot. You guys know what I say. A shot's a shot. And that should have been a fucking kill cam at that. But yeah, I'm basically just going to go till I'm out of ammo, and then I'm going to move him there. So yeah. Oh, come on. They're coming so damn close, man. I gotta hit this. Man. I don't even know if I'm shooting on anymore. Mm. Anytime now, please, Sledgehammer, or whoever is the team of Sledgehammer, Michael Condry. I'm just begging for the bill cam. All right, boys, I think I literally have two more attempts that I can go for a fake silent shot before I end up moving him there. This has not been looking too hot, not gonna lie. <gasps> that should have been the one. Right, this is literally my last attempt that I can go for a fake silent shot before I'm going to end up moving him. So wish me luck, boys. I got the fingers crossed on this one. Oh, if this was the one that would hit, dude, that would be actually crazy. Oh my god! No! No way! No way! I didn't even get the fake silent shot, boys. I'm freaking out over a private match shot. I don't even care. That was literally my last attempt before I was going to move him, dude. No way! Finally something. I don't even care if I failed the fake silent. Let's go, boys. I've been here for an hour, 15 minutes at this point. Wow, let's get it. And yeah, that's going to be a wrap in today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And to anyone who's new to my channel, I hope you enjoyed the video enough to consider subscribing with post notifications on. If you guys are wondering on how you can stay more connected or up to date with me, I'm going to be leaving all my links down below in the description. That's going to include my Twitter, which I'm active on so much daily. So make sure to go follow me over there if you don't yet. My Discord, my Twitch, my second channel, my TikTok. I'm active on all of them pretty regularly. So if you do enjoy my content and want to stay connected, please make sure to go check them out and show some love. Oh yeah, one last thing. Anyone who's new to my channel that might want to know more about me, me personally and not just like my clips i will be doing a q a soon for you guys over on twitter so make sure to go follow me over there like i said if you haven't yet but if you just have a quick question you want a quick answer to i do try to read every single message in my twitch chat and reply to it so if you ever see me live come stop by my chat ask a question and i'll answer to the best of my abilities but yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload peace out everyone parallel neck out